Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Welcome to a nice, bright, and sunny day. I wasn't gonna film today, but it's just so bright and happy out. I woke up early. I've just been tidying the home, and I just feel like all these things are contributing to the pretty decently good mood that I've been in. And I thought we could just like hang out this weekend, do all the things that have been sustaining this pretty decently good mood. Drinking my collagen coffee. I just did all the dishes. I unloaded the dishwasher. I'm just trying to tidy up because I really find that when the home is tidier, I just feel better. I'm looking at the summertime fine, if you guys don't know, Sydney Cummings, I talk about her all the time. I took a hot break from her because of my hip situation, but she does a 90 day workout challenge. So I bought the calendar for the first month. Obviously it's three months, cause that's 90 days. I think I paid like $7.99 for the month. I've been tracking, I've been following, I've been doing all the workouts. I've been following all the rest days. Today I'm on day six, 30 minute cardio and abs. So we will do that together. Last night I went to yoga. It was glorious. I love me a Friday night yoga. I feel like it really sets the tone for the weekend. And I bought some nice flowers. How pretty are these tulips? And I know they're like a little droopy, but um, they were like all hanging over the sides. And I was thinking last night that I needed to cut them shorter, but I really just think that they needed a trimming and some fresh water. And I think that the sunlight will help them be a little bit straight today. Anywho, these are my tulips. I will show you them once they bloom, but they're looking really, really pretty. Say hello to the people. Say good morning. Good morning. He just wants treats, no offense. Let's pick out a, you wanna help pick out a candle? Come on, help us pick out a candle. Every time we go to Home Goods, we buy like a bajillion candles. Warm tobacco is not really giving me. Spring, summer, sandalwood, pumpkin patch. Do we need to go to Home Goods today? Teakwood mahogany. These are not very summery. I guess sandalwood and myrrh. We just finished an ohm candle and it's so good. We love ohm candles. We find them at home goods. When we just finished with citrus and frankincense, so good. But I guess we'll burn this one and it looks like we're gonna need to stock up on our candle stock because we only have three. Come on, we all know what you want because you're bossy about it. Here you go, that's it though. That's enough now. So I had mentioned in a recent video that I have a to-do list every day, but it's like a to-do list for my sanity. So I thought that we could go over these things together in this vlog because it is the start of a new day. It's currently 8.05. It's Saturday, so we can like legit hang out. It's a beautiful day. I figured the setting is just perfect for it. Basically says to do, focus your energy on you. I just want to focus on me and I don't want to get wrapped up in life's drama because it's just not my, it's not my vibe. So I'm trying to just do better for myself. Just focus on me. And that's kind of just been the theme for the last two weeks and I hope to keep it going. But I literally have this like long to-do list. I don't need to do every single one. It's not like that kind of a to-do list, but the more that I do, the better that I feel. I'm just gonna read you some things that I have been doing on the daily. Call someone, I like to call someone that I love. I have red light therapy, which I've done a few times, but I don't do that every day. 10,000 steps, read, I read at least a chapter, 64 ounces of water, yoga, plan content for tomorrow, take my vitamins, edit some content, teeth spa, that's when I floss my teeth, I brush my teeth, and then I use my tongue cleaner. Go for a walk, do PT or stretching workout, and then I have new face or facial massage, and then at the bottom, I don't know why, just for my own sake, I put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I put all the days of the week at the end of the night before I go to bed. When I get in bed, I write down how many I did that day. The most that I've ticked off in a day is 11, which was last Friday. A little reminder of things that I can do to keep me happy, to keep me healthy. It's also just good to have, like if you don't even wanna make it a to-do list, if you just wanna have it for when you're having a bad day and you just need to like brighten your day and maybe like you just need a reminder of things that you enjoy. Like reading, journaling. Journaling is also on there, but I have not been journaling. I will not lie to you. You can refer to the list when you need a pick me up. I just find that this has been really good for my mental health. Also, I've been counting my macros on MyFitnessPal. I tend to eat not enough protein. 
and a lot of fat and like no carbs. So I just feel like my diet is off balance. So I'm just tracking to have a more balanced diet. Every spring I get into some, I mean, I, I've always worked out. I really love working out, but I feel like all winter, I just work out to move my body and I don't really follow a program. But every spring I have been doing Summertime Fine with Sydney Cummings for the last, I wanna say like at least four years, but I've been doing her videos for like seven years. I'm very excited. I'm feeling really good. I feel a lot better. I just honestly, whenever, I wake up and I don't feel like working out. I think about how I felt in Nashville. I felt like a sausage. And no, guys, it's not about looks. It's just about how I feel. I felt so uncomfortable in my body. I also don't want to feel like the manic, anxiety-riddled person. When I was editing that vlog that I mentioned before and I was like manic cleaning. It like gave me anxiety to watch that. And I apologize because I feel like I oftentimes put my anxiety on, my anxiety on you guys, but I don't know, like I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and I follow a lot of like vloggers who do lifestyle content and nobody is psychotic like me, or at least they're not showing it. So I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the point is, but it's just my reality. And like I said, this is like therapy for me. So I'm sorry if I make you feel anxious because watching them back, uh, it makes my anxiety like soar through the roof. I have not been that way since like taking this to-do list very seriously, eating healthy and working out. Like I just feel like, yeah, my anxiety is bad, but it doesn't come out in the form of like, go, 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 go anymore. I don't know, it's so strange. I also went to shop right last night. I don't know, I've just been trying to eat better. Not that cereal is good for you, but this caught my eye. It's keto friendly. I'm just trying to get my protein in. It helps to sustain and support your muscles, but it also keeps you fuller longer. So I just eat better and I'm not eating late at night, which is always an issue for me. I still have a snack, but I'll show you my snack later. Keto friendly honey graham cracker cereal. I got honey graham cracker and I got cinnamon toast. I bought two because I know Mike's gonna wanna try it and I might not like it. I'm not a big cereal eater, but I just figured this would be good for like work. So when I go to work in the mornings, I pack a yogurt, a little um Chobani yogurt. I weigh out, this is like honestly my best friend, food scale that I leave on the island. I measure out one serving of granola. The granola that I like is Love Crunch peanut butter chocolate chip so good and then i'll put a drizzle of honey and that's my that's my breakfast but like later in the day sometimes i want like a snack or maybe sometimes i don't want to eat the yogurt sometimes i'm not into the yogurt so i thought i could measure out a serving of this at home put it in a little to-go baggie or tupperware and then throw in some milk when i get to the office and have a little bowl of cereal but this has 110 calories five grams of fat 14 grams of carbs 11 grams of protein and half a cup i'm not afraid of carbs at all before i I started tracking. I always thought that I ate a lot of carbs, but carbs do not take up a lot of my diet. Fat takes up a lot of my diet. I'm just trying to be conscious about that. But anyway, I've been talking for a really long time. Um, let me drink my coffee. Let me tick off some things on my to-do list with you. Ignore what's behind me because I need to... I need to like clean a little bit in here today. I've been doing a pretty good job of like cleaning rooms as I go. I read that, I'm pretty sure that was in Atomic Habits. This is like the first year that I didn't read that. I usually read it every year, but I'm pretty sure it's like, if you want to clean home, clean the room before you leave or like as you're leaving. I don't know, I've been doing it, except it's got a little out of hand because yesterday, last night I got home from yoga. After I went to like the store, I was, yeah, I just, yeah, I came in like a tornado, but in it, taking better care of my eating, drinking more water, all that kind of stuff. I do find it really odd that I'm like breaking out a lot. I've been breaking out like a lunatic this month. I've gone through an entire pack of pimple patches. I'm gonna do my new face because I just feel like I look so much better when I do my new face and I feel so much better. And that is the most important part. One of my missions today, since it's nice out, I'm putting the Peter Thomas Roth cucumber face mask. I use this as the conductor for the new face. But my mission today is to reclaim the land. Our neighbors are kind of an issue. They're a little inconsiderate. And this is me being kind and saying all this, but you know, it's it's nicer out now and the nicer weather is coming and I want to be able to have a little bit more outdoor living so we need to like clean up the patio we need to like do a bunch of stuff to make it look nice we don't spend a lot of time outside just because it's not nice but you know we can't stand anyone around us so I feel like they've kind of just taken over the lay of the land and I don't want that anymore I want to stand our ground so we're gonna clean 
the backyard today and make it nice. I haven't talked to Mike about it, but maybe we'll do a fire. But anyway, I'm gonna focus on this and then I'm gonna get my workout in and then we're gonna officially start the day. Mike said this morning when he came down to go to the gym, he was a little, oh, sorry I'm out of breath, I literally just got done working out, but he was a little um, concerned about them because they were so flopped over. I feel like we all feel uncomfortable when I am holding household things. Well, not household, but like outdoor things. Like when I'm holding a shovel, when I'm holding an outside broom, I feel like we should all be alarmed. At least I am. But step one in reclaiming the home, I am going to sweep the deck and I'm going to sweep the patio because I just feel like the trees have pollinated everywhere. They're ovulating. Yeah, I think their ovulation day was yesterday because my God, there's like seeds everywhere. So I'm gonna show you the before and after. So we can all applaud me. See all the white stuff? I need to sweep this off the deck. So let's start there. Cereal's not great, I would say. It just left the ground. I'm a little let down. Where are we going? To get a mattress. To, to get some wine. To get some wine. Oh, what kind of wine are we getting? Flowers so for Donna. For your mom. Candles, because we need some. I told you to make a list before. Spring, summer. I, no, I didn't make a list. I can make a list right now while I sit here. Oh my God, it's so nice out. Don't you wish it could be like this every day? Yeah, could. Um, and are we going to go to the open house? I think so. Wow, what a time. So many things to do. I would like a snack along the way. Mm -hmm. Should we barbecue for dinner? I mean, I could go for like hamburgers. This right is now. a lot of things. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, and a drink outside right. on the patio that I swept, please. Right. Because it's so nice out. And it just rains every day. So. I think it's supposed to rain later. <gasps> no. Check the weather, but I'm pretty positive. No, but it's supposed to get cloudy at four o'clock. No rain though. Seventy percent of rain tomorrow. A lot of things that don't happen to me. <laughs> First it happens to me last night, and yeah, in the club. At the after after. Just call it the after. Just call it. Cheers, babe. Cheers. 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 That's good. It's like salty. What a beautiful day. It is really good. Is it good? I will say. Yeah, I like it. We should write it down. That's really good. I know. What's in that? Wow, that's delicious. I want one of those. No, it's fine. I'm getting fish and wine. This is what I want. Mediterranean diet. It's very good. Your wine is very good too. They're both really good. Good picks. This fish. This wine. Is that fried? No, it's baked. What a day. My favorite thing to shop for. Wine. It's not like one wine at least. We are winos, and everybody knows it. We are? Yeah. I don't know it. You know it. Stop. Don't lie. Don't deny who you are. I don't know if she's even going to like them because they're not, like, just all purple. I feel like she wants, like, all purple like this. 
but I want like a hanging one. They smell really good. They smell really good. Which one? It's not like purple though. Yeah, but they're like purple and white. You know how picky she is? She's the pickiest. Thanks for carrying them. Cause they're really heavy and I can't carry them. Beautiful weather calls for a cellar wine. Let's see if this tastes as good as it tasted when we were at the vineyard in Napa. The reclaiming of our land is not going well because they're just like blasting music and it's not good music, no offense. You know, we all have taste in music, this ain't my taste, but hopefully the wine's good and hopefully I don't get any copyright strikes. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Is it as good as you remember it? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Look at our cheese portion control plates. Mm. We have two ounces of cheese <laughs> and then four ounces of wine, but we're gonna have more wine with our burgers. <laughs> Yay. That is like the smallest patty on <laughs> the biggest bun. I hope it's cooked enough. Well, I hope it's cooked enough too. Otherwise we're all gonna get sick. Pour you some more wine. I can't have any more wine. I've hit my calorie limit. I can't have any more wine. So that's, she's, she's done. But that looks delicious. Does it taste like gods? You know where I am because it's Sunday night and this is what I do every Sunday, but I'm just trying to pick out clothes for the week. It's gonna be a little bit warm. I realize that I have not worn these shoes. I own these shoes. They're by Monsoor. Oh, I've done this before. I can't say the name, but I will try and find them down below. Link them if you're interested. I bought them on Nordstrom Rack. I have them in this green and I also have them in white. I have not worn them yet, so I'm thinking I should start breaking them in. And what better way to break them in than in the office? So I think I'm gonna bring these in this week, the green ones or the white ones, or maybe both of them. I just have to say, I don't like leather bottoms. Like all these nice Italian shoes that I love, like you guys know I love my M. Jemmy, they all have leather bottom and they're just not safe, okay? I go slip in sliding, thinking some kind of variation, and this is so important because now that I'm doing summertime fine, I always like have to wake up in the morning to work out because I know at the end of the day, I'm not gonna have it in me to do one of Sydney's workouts because they're a lot. So tomorrow I have a 40 minute workout and Lord knows um, how I'm going to wake up with enough time to do a 40 minute workout, shower, get dressed and get my tushy on the bus. So I really need, I really need to pick out my clothes. So I'm thinking tomorrow, this oversized shirt, which I love this shirt. I have worn it. There are still tags on it. I did not take the tags off. Um, I wore it to work. But this is from Banana Republic. It's an extra small, but it's pretty large. So I have this like oversized shirt and I was thinking I should steam these white pants and just like pair this together. And then maybe I'll wear the white shoes that I have. I'll take them out in a second. For Tuesday, I don't know though, cause it's gonna rain. So maybe this is a bad idea because I really don't wanna ruin these pants, but I'll leave this combo out in case tomorrow I don't feel like wearing the big blue shirt. I love my husband and it's not his fault, but he tells me when things look ridiculous on me and I am someone where I love oversized things just my kind of vibe. I'm petite and sometimes the oversize looks a little crazy on me. And he basically told me that this balloon shirt, that this blue shirt is a balloon shirt on me. So if I wake up and I don't feel comfortable wearing that, some days I wake up 
and I'm ready for the day and I'm like, yes, I don't give a shit. I'm just gonna wear it because I own it. And then some days I feel a little insecure when I wake up. I'm just not feeling it. But this will be my backup, just a white shirt and these like gold pants that I love. I got these at Banana. This is from Ann Taylor. I don't really love this quality though. I think Ann Taylor has gone down in recent years. If you're asking me my opinion, that's my opinion. But I might wear like this combo tomorrow. And I need to pick out what I'm gonna wear on Tuesday because if it is gonna rain, I don't wanna ruin these pants. I really need to go through my closet. I'm like, I have this problem where I hold on to things because I think like I don't have enough clothes, but I really need to do a swap. Like I don't need these houndstooth pants. These are very wintry. So maybe I'll move these out now. Corduroy navy, also very wintry. For the first time ever, I feel like I've gotten my winter fall wardrobe in a really good spot. And now that we're going into spring and summer, my spring and summer wardrobe is not in a good spot. So like for the first time ever, I'm kind of sad that sweater weather is going to be over soon like i'm so excited for the spring and i'm so excited for the summer but my closet is not excited for any of the above so i just don't know what to do okay, let me move some stuff out i did just change into my favorite sweatshirt i have green and i have white who's screaming my neighbors are annoying so i have white and i have green depending upon what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna leave these both out. I wanted to share this little perfume thing that I found on TikTok. I hate TikTok. I talked about it in my recent Get Ready With Me. I feel like I am just constantly being served sad and depressing things, but we're not gonna talk about it because I talked about it in that video. I was served a pretty good video the other day in regards to like perfume placement and where to put it. Now, if you know anything about me, I am not like known to be a good smelling queen. It's just not what I'm known for. Um, and I've come to terms with that. My husband smells delicious all the time. And I've asked him so many times to teach me his ways and he gatekeeps. Although I don't really know if he's gatekeeping or if he's just someone that, you know, like he just has the skin for perfume. Like my skin is dry no matter how many pounds of lotion I put on it. My skin eats perfume. I saw this chick on TikTok. I will link her TikTok down below. She works at a perfumery, whatever the word is, I think, for some time. And she gave us tips. So she said, take a perfume. This has been the one that I've been wearing the most this spring, the Gucci Bloom. I just really love it. It's florally, but it has a little bit of a musky scent to it, which pairs well with my kind of earthiness. Like I can't wear crisp things. I can't wear like a floral that doesn't have a little bit of musk to it because it just doesn't match well with my scents. But she said to take this, so put it on the back of your neck. So like, I guess, you know, where we normally put it. So I'm not gonna put any more on cause I already put on, but she puts one here and here. And she said, you know, put it on your wrists as you, normal, like most people do. So I would spray here and here. She said not to rub it together though, because that ruins the base note. It depletes the base note. I don't know anything about perfume. I might sound like I know, but I have no idea. That's just what she said. And then she said that you can put it places where your body normally heats up so that when your body heats up, it kind of like permeates. Is that the right word? I don't know. The perfume. So she said, you know, a lot of people put it on your chest, but if you put it right here, like right where the bottom of your chest is and to where your belly button is, like that's a great spot. So I've been doing this and I've been noting, noticing a difference in how long my perfume stays. So what I've been doing to reiterate really quickly, spray, spray, no rub, spray, spray. And then I spray down. Basically I do from my chest down. I do one, two. And then she said, which I have done this. I've been doing this when I wear shorts or like skirts. She said, you can spray the back of your knees. So like the bend of where, you know, you know, back here. The thing that blew my mind was that she said that these mists, this is Victoria's Secrets Velvet Petal. And this is Bath and Body Works Meet Me in Miami. She said that these are terrible for your skin and you should never put them on your skin. And I never thought of that, but yet here I am. I usually use these for like after the shower. So I'll spray them all over my body. But she said to not put these on your body. She said to spray body mists on your clothes. So what I've been doing this past week is I've been taking the Victoria's Secret petals because it has a sweet kind of like florally scent to it. And I've been spraying my clothes with this. So I'll just come in my closet and hang my clothes and do one, two, spray. And then I've been pairing this with my Gucci Bloom because the two of them complement one another. So I'm hoping that this spring and summer, I do not smell like the garbage pail that I normally smell like. I will let you know if I get any compliments along the way, but I will say that Michael has been telling me that 
I, my, my perfume smells good and I've been using Gucci Bloom. Now he hasn't said anything to me since pairing the two together, but I will keep you posted. Let you know if I get any scent compliments because those for me are few and far between. But I just wanted to share this knowledge because is this common knowledge? It like blew my mind. I'm just trying to, I just wanna smell nice this spring and summer and I don't wanna be self-conscious because I get a little sweaty. I sweat from my head and I sweat from my pits. But yeah, let me show you this little like setup that I have for the morning and let me get all of these like wintry clothes out of here because I just feel a little overwhelmed with the closet recently. Like I want a spring refresh in my wardrobe. I just don't have any idea what to wear. Here's my closet. Obviously you guys have seen this so many times, but what I do is I basically have all of my shirts there. I have all my pants and my blazers there and I pick which goes with which and then whatever it is I'm gonna wear that week, I place on the long hanging thing here. So these are the outfits that I just showed you that I'm thinking about wearing. And then as I try them on in the morning, I laid out these little flats that I'm thinking about wearing. So as I put on my clothes, I can just slip my foot in and then look in the mirror and see which ones look the best with my outfits. I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I will show you bits and bobs of the rest of our night. I drank way too much wine last night. I had three glasses of wine. I went over my calorie limit, which I'm not really like counting calories, but it's the first time that I went over my calorie limit. And I had a little bit of fat yesterday. So I didn't do like super, super great in my diet. However, I've been remaining active. Today was a rest day for me. So I don't even think I told you guys, but today was a rest day. So I walked on the treadmill for 50 minutes. I stretched. I might stretch again before I go to bed. I'm just trying to keep my body moving because when I'm too like in one place, when I'm doing Sydney's workouts, that's when I get sore and that's when I'm not motivated to wake up and work out because my body just wants to lay in bed because it hurts so much. So today was a rest day, but it was an active rest day. And I just wanna remind you that not every day is gonna be perfect. And like yesterday, I kind of fell off the bandwagon in terms of like healthy eating. I didn't really eat like the worst, but I didn't really eat like the healthiest. I'm trying to cut back on my drinking as I literally just told you that I'm going downstairs to have a glass of wine, but a glass of wine is good for your heart. Okay. Maybe not three, maybe not four, but one is fine. And I just want to remind you that not every day is going to be perfect. You're not going to feel motivated every day, but it's okay. That doesn't mean that you failed. That doesn't mean that you need to start from zero. You just got to keep it going. And today I was more conscious about what I ate. I didn't drink anything. You're having a bad day. Tomorrow will be a better day. And yeah, don't give up. I don't know. I just always find that, especially with fitness and like health, for me, like I would always write in my planner, like healthy. I would decide on a Monday, like today is gonna be my healthy day. And then I would fall off the bandwagon one day that week. And then I would scratch off the healthy in my planner and then pick another day to start. I don't know if any of this is resonating or any of this makes sense, but I'm just saying to you that life is an ongoing journey, God willing, and you're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days, but that doesn't mean that you can't get back in the saddle. So I love you guys so much. I hope that this video maybe motivated you to do something that makes you happy today. Put together that happiness to-do list and don't think of it as like chores, but think of it as like you're doing things for you, for your mental health. Because again, this is a list of things that make you happy. And I hope that, you know, this kind of motivates you maybe on days when you don't want to get out of bed, maybe it motivates you to get out of bed, it puts a smile on your face, Maybe it gives you something to look forward to. So I'm giving you a little bit of homework. Just take the week this week to jot down things that make you happy as you do them and kind of make it a habit to work them into your daily habits, your daily routines. But I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I'm gonna go hang out with my husband, with the fur babies and love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me and I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah. These are really good though. <laughs>